know about fighting, he kind of laughs it off. And I know you and your dad talk about moving to 47. Um, what do you think about the fight with Tim? Because after this fight, it would be for, for who's the man? Right now, um, you know, my main focus is Regis Pro Grace. And then after that, we'll see. Your main focus being Regis Pro Grace right here at home in your hometown. Obviously, you had a little bit of help in the stands today. What would win right here in the Bay Area is the first fight coming to Chase Center. What would that mean to you? Yeah, it means everything to, to me and my family, my team. Um, we worked hard to get here. And, um, you know, now that we're here, this, this, this massive event, um, you know, now it's time to perform. So, uh, you know, uh, it would mean everything. Any adrenaline pumping, knowing that it's, we'll be here in front of everybody, and you are coming in as the challenger against the champion? Hundred percent adrenaline, definitely. You know, going, juice is going. I'm ready to go. I'm, ex I'm, I'm excited. How do you feel at 140? I feel great. I feel great at 140. Um, stronger than I've ever been. Uh, but it's for me to show on uh, December the 9th. Debbie, was anything different setting the face off to what we was hearing on the stage, man? You guys in here? No, you couldn't hear it. No. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. It, was, it was a lot of talking, but uh, like I said, he going to do what he going to do. I'm going to do what I'm going to do, and uh, may the best man win. Devin, do you want to show in this fight not just better than him, but just as tough, if not tougher, especially when he's talking about your upbringing and stuff like that? He going to say what he going to say. He believe what he believe. I believe what I believe. Um, I'm going to be victorious on, on the night, and uh, that's, that's all really that matters. He can say what he want to say. Uh, about upbringing or this or that, um, I'd say that I'm a better fighter, and, uh, and that's what I'm approved. When he says he hasn't shown the skills, but he will in this fight, when he has performances like Zepeda where he did show skills, move his head, is that you getting in his head? In, yeah. He didn't show no skills. Um, he showed power. When you hear Eddie Hearn say this is a 50-50 fight, you feel like that's a disrespect? Yes. Eddie doing what he got to do to uh, build a fight, and... Um, we all know this ain't no 50-50 fight. Um, we know I'm levels above this guy. And like I said, the world gonna see. Is there more for you to play on Saturday night? What round are you going in the fight in? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's gonna be a round, but I don't know what round. Do you think the fact that he's been promoted as the B side in this fight, although he's the champion, do you think that's sort of in his head, the fact that, you know, Eddie's obviously worked with you before and he's looking at this and he said, look, that's Eddie's boy, Devin Haney. Do you think like that sort of played with his mind a bit? Yeah, um, I think he's drawn into the to the A side, B side. Man, I'm going in there to, to fight and to, to win, and, and that's my main focus. I don't care about nothing outside the ring, none of this, or who Eddie likes more, who Eddie don't like, or what Eddie. I, I, I didn't went from promoter to promoter, being treated bad from this promoter and that promoter, and this network. I mean, listen, I'm a true professional. I perform no matter what. So it don't matter, you know, about none of that. Do you feel like you have something to prove to fans on Saturday night? Do you feel like you have something to prove to fans on Saturday night? No, I mean, the, the people are going to come out, they're going to see a great fight, a great fight for boxing. So after this fight, do you feel yourself natural, or what you still looking for? Uh, I want to get past this fight, and then uh, we'll see what's next. Devin, how did moving up affect power and, and stamina? I don't see. Uh, Devin, I'll see, I'll, Devin, I'll see y'all tomorrow at the weigh-in. Devin, you so said many times it's all about that bay. I talked to you before it happened. You said, you said, watch, wait, and see. I'm going to sell out at the bay. I'm bringing boxing back to San Francisco. I told Your you. prophecy come to life. Dude. What do you got to say to all the fans that follow the support team? Listen, I lost a perfect player. He makes no mistakes. I said I was going to bring it back to the bay. Here we are. Massive event for, 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 the, for boxing right. Man in the work. Bay Area. Man work. And uh, it's going to be a great night for me and my team. All right. Hey, Devin, um, just one last question. Um, a lot of fighters didn't want to fight uh, Regis from Tiafama Lopez, Ramirez, and Barboza. Why are you so confident in this fight that you levels above Regis even though nobody wanted to fight him? Um, just the, the skills. I think I'm levels above all these guys. But, um, you know, just my skill set that I bring. Um, we, know that, we know that he has power. We know that. But what else? You know, it, it, it's, it's nothing else that he brings to the table. And uh, I like to go there, go in there and just, you know, disarm him, you know, uh, handicap him of, of his best things. And uh, that's what I'll do. All right. Thank you, champ.